Hi, I'm Trisha Feeney. And I'm Brian Hodge. Welcome to this educational video about how to perform an ultrasound guided glenohumeral joint injection. The purpose of this procedure is to offer a patient relief from shoulder pain by introducing a local anesthetic and a steroid directly into the glenohumeral joint. First, let's go over the indications and the contraindications for this procedure. Indications. Number one, arthrosis. This could be due to osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis. Number two, frozen shoulder or adhesive capsulitis. Contraindications include allergy or hypersensitivity, infected joint or tissue, recent trauma or fracture, a history of a steroid flare, prosthetic joint, or caution should be taken in the setting of coagulative disorders or immunocompromised state. Next, the equipment you'll need. One 10 cc syringe, 25 gauge, one and a half inch needle, one to seven cc's of lidocaine, which is 1% without epi, one milliliter of steroid, which could be triamcinolone or betamethasone, one alcohol prep pad, three betadine swabs, sterile gauze, cold spray, an ultrasound machine with linear array probe or curvilinear for a patient with a larger body habitus, sterile adhesive bandage, and sterile gloves. So there are two ways to position the patient. One is sitting in the upright position so that the provider can manipulate the shoulder joint or lying in the lateral decubitus position if you're concerned about your patient feigning. The patient's ipsilateral hand will rest on the contralateral shoulder like this. The provider will be behind the patient with a clear view of the ultrasound. Three bony landmarks might be helpful for this procedure, the acromion, the spine of the scapula, and the coracoid process anteriorly. The probe should be placed in the transverse plane, just inferior to the acromion, and parallel to the spine of the scapula. Apply the probe with the transducer indicator in the lateral position. The landmarks to identify on the ultrasound are the infraspinatus muscle, the glenoid, the humerus, the glenohumeral joint space, and the glenoid labrum. After identifying your anatomical landmarks, you want to mark the insertion site for the needle at the lateral edge of the probe. Clean with betadine three times. Employing sterile technique, apply the cold spray and advance the needle superficially into the skin. The needle is introduced posterior laterally and advanced in the anteromedial direction in line with the ultrasound. Avoid injecting into the labrum or the tendon sheath you want to inject directly into the joint space. Withdraw the needle, dispose of it properly, and cover the area with a clean bandage. In order to ensure the best chance of success with the procedure, number one, make sure that you have the proper diagnosis and correct indications for the procedure itself. Number two, also make sure that you are injecting the proper site by use of the ultrasound and a smaller amount of lidocaine may be necessary for conditions such as adhesive capsulitis. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by Mayhek Hendersonville Rural Family Medicine Residency and Black Bag Productions.